Current gaming sucks. Bold statement? Not really. Prove me wrong. Oh yeah, you can't. The 9th gen didn't even need to exist yet. The Switch? Maybe. The Wii U wasn't going anywhere. Technically, the Switch is 8th gen, but still going. Considered old tech, yes. But even Nintendo knows the 9th gen didn't need to happen yet. No, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy. I don't even own a Switch. I've got an Xbox One, 360, PS1234, Vita, Wii, Wii U, GameCube, Dreamcast. I'm not a fanboy. I'm a gamer. What a joke the PS5 and Xbox series has become. What we're getting is mostly up res titles from last gen. Faster hard drives PCs were already using years and years ago. And woke, sweet baby ESG, DIE, hidden racism slash sexism, social re-engineering experiment crap. People still... How in the world? Still buying Call of Dog shit! Supporting EA every goddamn year with their regurgitated copy-and-paste sports-themed casino games. An all-digital future where you rent games at full price that can disappear without warning. Sony's already started. Due to licensing deals, removing digital movies and shows people had already paid for. There's a bug going around wiping digital games from Sony consoles. Sony was even able to remove the accidentally released Stellar Blade demo from players who had already downloaded it. If they're able to get into players' accounts and remove a demo someone downloaded onto their own hard drive, what's stopping them from removing anything else? Oh yeah, nothing! If purchasing doesn't equal ownership, then piracy doesn't equal stealing. These companies better have that same energy when people start pirating shit. Not to mention the thousands of layoffs within the past year. Video games are in a slump, feeling like they're about to crash and burn. It's no wonder some people are once again seeing the value of actually owning their shit. If you don't like piles of games and DVDs in your home and prefer streaming and digital, that's cool. If you're cool with streaming services, dividing content so you need five different subscriptions to see all of your favorite shows and movies, cool. Some of us are more serious when it comes to our favorites and prefer physical. Plus, we're willing to stand up for the principle of the thing. Modern gaming is a joke. Nintendo knows what they're doing, for the most part. Let's face it, if we're talking about fun factor alone, it's hard to beat Nintendo. Xbox is doing just alright for now, I guess. Sony have lost their goddamn minds. I was excited for Bioshock creator Ken Levine's new game, Judas, but I'm not buying a 9th gen console just to play it. Video games are not for gamers anymore. The industry has just become one huge goddamn game. I always thought there was something fishy about big game journalism and reviews too, but now it's confirmed. Most of them are bought and paid for shills, willing to push any crap product that comes along in exchange for industry perks and future review codes. As older gamers get pushed out, the manipulation tactics begin to get a new generation of gamers used to and accepting of getting ripped off, with things like monetizing basic gameplay features as single-use microtransactions. Absolutely pathetic. Physical, single-player games on disk? Requiring an internet connection to install? Not download? Install? What is this shit? I'm more interested in going back, learning some history about video games, and I'm nearly at the point of getting a mini PC, hack an old game console, or get one of those emulation handhelds, and emulate all the old games. I've been following this industry for most of my life, and at this point, it's worth more looking back than to see where it's heading. That's why Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, is the last modern game I'm ever gonna buy. It's on all current platforms, including Switch, as well as PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Atari VCS. This is a time capsule of the beginning of an industry so many of us love. Some of the Atari stuff was before my time, but I tell you what, I'd rather sit in front of my TV screen 
reading about the history of Atari than be playing some shitty-ass live service. Let me know your thoughts on current gaming. Any new games you're going to buy? Any older games you're looking at collecting? You're going to keep enabling Activision and EA to take advantage of you every year? Let me know in the comments.